All right, I think it's time to do a review on these shoes. Uh, these shoes would be the Keen Targi 3s with uh, Keen Dry technology for waterproofness. Super nice shoe. Uh, this is the uh, update of the Targi 2. Uh, this version is the, the low rise. They have a mid hiker as well. Um, but anyway, I just wanted to highlight these shoes. This is a brand new pair that I just purchased because the ones that I'm wearing, I don't know if you can see them. Maybe I'll show you in the video here. They don't fall down the mountain first. Uh, these ones that I'm wearing here have been so good. Uh, I've worn them about nine months uh, on the trail. Been a great shoe. Um, the Targi 2s, I noticed, had the, the sole right here that would flick apart after some wear. But on these ones, I'll show you on the ones I'm wearing, the actual wear and tear, they hold up a lot better than the previous version. All right, let's go to Outdoor Gear Lab and see what they have to say. I always like comparing my products to Outdoor Gear Lab. And, uh, they do a great job on their reviews. Uh, it's a great place for me to start to see if I want to buy something um, so the best hiking shoes of 2020 let's go on down here they list them looks like they've did a rating on 15 shoes let's see I don't see them in the top five so let's see where the uh, Targis land okay so here's the new version the Targi 3 low and then here's the older version Targi 2 uh, I used these for years and years and years. Great shoe, uh, but they always had a failure point in the sole. And I see if I can't find a video to show you for that. I was able to find the uh, the older version Targi twos. This is the the high the high top ones uh, instead of the low tops. But <clears throat> the Targi twos had this failure problem on every one that I've ever owned. And these, these soles always start to come off. Um, these shoes have been worn a lot, but uh, it seems like they always start to fail early right here. But with uh, the Targi 3, however, I haven't seen that failure point so far. A uh, pair I've been wearing, been wearing them pretty hard and heavy for about nine months now and uh, they show very little wear and tear uh, they've been holding up really well um, so they're definitely a step up from Targi 2 uh, looks like they're pros or they're durable comfortable and a great option for wide feet uh, looks like the con is is that they have average traction sloppy fit for narrow feet well being a wider fit shoe that's a little more comfortable um, Sloppy fit for somebody with narrow feet, that's understandable. Um, bottom line, the hiking shoe provides good performance for those looking to go out and hit the local trails. It's a pretty affordable shoe. Uh, they run you about a hundred and, I don't know, 120 to 140 bucks, depending on where you buy them. Pretty decent price for a high quality shoe. Uh, the comfort's great, the weight's great. The support is really good. The traction's decent. Versatility. Um, I think the water resistance is probably a little higher. I haven't had any problems with them. Uh, they keep my feet dry. It's awesome. Durability, exceptional so far in the pair that I have. Uh, yeah, I've just been beating the crap out of them for nine months and they're holding up strong. So uh, we'll take a look at the shoe now. Okay, let's take a closer look at these shoes. So there's the side profile. There's the front. There's the other side. There's the back. I have this little loop here where you can put a carabiner and hang them on your pack if you need to. Uh, they got a heavy duty um, lace system. 
super cushiony around here. Just a very comfortable shoe, and not, not to mention the waterproofness and the tread on them is really good too. It uh, grips the trail real good. So anyway, now I'll show you the wear and tear after nine months, and then you'll see why I decided to buy this pair to replace the old pair. Just because they're going strong after many, 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 many miles. So I've been quite impressed. All right, this is actual usage after about nine months of usage. Um, looks like some of the uh, treads starting to wear a little bit. Um, but the sole is staying together good. Starting to get a little bit of wear right here. But all in all, right, these things might go for another nine months or more. Looks like they're holding up pretty well. I just want to mention these Kings. Great shoes. They're waterproof. Of course, up to the lip. I've had them a while. They still keep on performing. All right, this canyon brought us to some water. And these shoes kept my feet dry. All right, so if you want to affordable shoe that's durable and comfortable uh, I recommend the Targi 3's I've been using them year after year first off with the Targi 2's great shoe uh, I had that common failure point but I still bought them because they were comfortable and waterproof and were a great shoe but this Targi 3 is a is an upgrade for sure and I'll continue to buy them because they're just a wonderful great shoe for the money. Anyway, hopefully you find this uh, video uh, informative and maybe help you decide on buying this shoe or another shoe. Again, I have no affiliation with this company whatsoever. This is just my actual usage and my opinion of this shoe. I think it's a great shoe. So have a nice day.